The Hyksos are the greatest danger that Egypt faced in its ancient history. Therefore, when a 19-year-old young man comes who can eliminate them and expel them permanently from Egypt, this king deserves all reverence. This king is Amos the first. When we talk about the Hyksos, we are talking about a group of tribes that inhabited the Levant and Palestine. They did not know anything about civilization and civilization. Their suffering from poverty and desert life made them gather a large army and plan to take over Egypt. The condition of Egypt before the Hyksos. Egypt in this period was at the end of the Middle State, which was famous for its development, reform and reconstruction projects, but at the end of this state it was exposed to weakness. The authority of the regional rulers and the clergy increased and the king's authority weakened. Also, injustice spread and people's rights were lost in this period, but all of this was nothing compared to what the Hyksos did, in Egypt. The Hyksos, as I said, are pastoral tribes, so it is natural for their treatment of people to be in a way that reflects this nature. Therefore, when they succeeded in controlling Egypt, they treated its people very badly, stealing temples and looting gold from the common people. The condition of the Egyptians in this period reached the point that the great ladies of Egypt wore worn-out swords. He made the Egyptian people harbor grudges against the Hyksos. The beginning of the resistance. When the Hyksos settled in Egypt, they built their capital, Avaris, in the eastern delta. Thus, they were unable to control Egypt completely. Thebes remained the only emirate not controlled under the leadership of its prince, Sikhninra, who was preparing in his army to start the war against the Hyksos, especially after the increase in persecution against the Egyptians. After the beginning of the war against the Hyksos, Svenenra was unable to overcome their unbridled power and was killed in one of the battles against them. He was supplemented by his son Kamos, who led the war for three years and was actually able to recover some Egyptian lands, but for an unknown reason, the king died in mysterious circumstances, and thus the burden of expelling the Hyksos from the country occurred. Egypt fell to the young King Amos. Change in strategy. Amos is the youngest son of King Svenenra. When he began his war against the Hyksos, he was 19 years old. Despite the king's young age, he had a lot of intelligence and intuition that distinguished him from his mother and brothers. The first of these was the method of war against the Hyksos, in which the Hyksos used chariots that were distinguished by their terrible speed and also what distinguished the Hyksos from the Egyptians. Amos found that fighting the Hyksos must first develop this weapon and make use of it in order to equalize the balance of power between the Hyksos and the Egyptians. He also had to take advantage of his state of anger against the Hyksos, so he gathered and asked the Egyptians to join the army. After that, he trained and prepared them, and an army was gathered for him. He was able to confront the Hyksos. After Amos formed his army, he headed to the capital of the Hyksos, Avaris, with his huge army, which was able to expel them from Egypt. Amos was not satisfied with that, but he pursued them as far as Palestine and eliminated them in the fortress of Sharhin, disuniting them to the point that the name of the Hyksos was not mentioned again in history books. What's next for the Hyksos? As for the people, their anger against the Hyksos was so intense that they could not see their capital standing. The Egyptian people demolished the city and leveled it to the ground. As for the young king, he headed to Nubia and was able to return it to the king of Egypt. His kingdom reached the south to the second cataract, and after that he headed into Egypt and began his journey. Internal reform, which Egypt really suffered during the Hyksos period, reformed the tax system and restored the ruined temples, and Egypt lived in a period of civilizational progress that we can consider the introduction to the strongest period in the history of Egypt, which is the modern state. It is worth noting that after Amos's victory over the Hyksos, he was considered a hero and statues were built for him. He was considered by the Egyptians to be one of the three best kings in the history of ancient Egypt. Also, because there was no time interval between the 17th and 18th dynasties, Amos's achievement of victory over the Hyksos was considered the beginning and foundation of the 18th dynasty.